I'm Rebecca of Pocketful of Posies. Today's project is part three of my 1890s Jiminy Cricket costume, his top hat. Now, I use a top hat that I had for years. I look, it was just a costume thing I got from <laughs> probably the Spirit Halloween store or something like that at some point uh, for a costume uh, years ago. If I can find a picture, I'll insert it. I covered it with some fabric and decorated it and this is how it went. Here we go. Here is my dusty top hat. I removed the flowers and other decorations as best I could. I didn't worry about the glue too much since I was going to cover it anyway. I traced around the brim. Then I traced around the top and measured the height and circumference of the hat. Then I marked seam allowance on the pattern pieces. I pinned them down to the fabric and I cut them out. And this was some sash fabric. It's a slate blue cotton poly shirting. Next, I pinned the top piece. Then I wrapped the piece that I had cut out using the height and circumference measurement around the side. Well, I mathed wrong. Big shock there. <laughs> the first piece I cut for the brim wasn't wide enough. So I cut a new piece, doubled. I sewed them together around the edges and tried it. Now it was too big. Then my husband kindly suggested maybe I needed math. I informed him that I had used math. I had just used wrong math. <laughs> I sewed the seam wider and then it fit for the most part. So I went with it. I pinned it on as smoothly as I could. Next, I pinned twill tape to cover the raw edges on the inside. I apologize for so much of this being out of frame. I kept pulling it towards me and not noticing that it wasn't in the shot anymore. <laughs> Thank you. 
My next step was to whip stitch the top to the sides. I tried to smooth the top down as much as possible as I went around. Then I attached the twill tape and brim piece to the inside of the hat. Unfortunately, this was mostly out of frame. I took a strip of fabric left over from my vest and used it as a band around the hat. I sewed it down, again, out of frame. checked how it looked. Time for trim! I used some fake flowers that I had sitting around and I tacked them down to the fabric on the hat. And then it was done. <laughs> Pretty easy. It's a little wrinkly, but I'm not too concerned. This costume is mostly to amuse myself and my students, at least the hat part. The rest of it I can wear, you know, without it necessarily being Jiminy Cricket. Stay tuned for the fourth and final installment of my Jiminy Cricket costume series. That will be the coat. It's jaunty, yes? Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed this project and I really appreciate you joining me and I hope that you enjoyed watching me make this top hat or cover this top hat I should say. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and you'd like to please do that and follow me on Instagram if you are so inclined. My Instagram name is at Rebecca dot pocket dot full dot of dot posies. <laughs> if you'd like to support this channel further, I have a coffee account and I have linked that down below. It's also on the banner of my YouTube page. Again, thank you and welcome. And I hope to see you again on our next sewing adventure. See you next time. Bye.